on YouTube. Uh, welcome back to the long haul episode 12 now. I've just been doing some time overnight making grabbing stones all this. I'm making more blunderbusses actually. Making like nine of them and because uh, I was just, you know on that grind to get a you know basically a level 600 blunderbuss I figured. If I got the combined mechanic you know, kind of one of those, uh, classic, uh, you know, like the classic scenario of, you sp let's smoke them if you got them. Figure, utilize this to my advantage. This version ain't getting updated anytime soon. Oh, and then, uh, once those are done, I'm actually going to be making more blunder bus ammunition. Because I realized I got a whole bunch of paper and a whole bunch of gunpowder. And that's not even me starting to craft more gunpowder. Like, I got another 500 I can make, so... Let's just... Let's see how much we can do here, and... I think that's about enough for... for what we need. That's actually good, so... Okay. We'll just start fixing up more gunpowder. Looks like we got another blunderbuss. We're at level 347. We're gonna see how much we got here. And 360. 373. 386. And then 3.99. We're gonna get into the blue level quality at least. Level 412. That is excellent. We have and I have three more blunderbusses uh, coming in for crafting, so. You might be asking why I'm not doing this with my iron tools. I could do it with my with my pickaxe at least, you know. Not a bad thing. It's it's like to, but to me with the shovel and the fire axe, the it's kind of like um cuz the reason for like the iron fire axe, well the iron pickaxe is um, I can actually you know be useful for mining up like destroyed stone and the in the wasteland, it, you know, because it has a faster swing speed than a, a steel pickaxe. See what we're up to now. Level 425. Excellent. But yeah, I did get attacked by a couple zombies overnight. It's one of those, uh, you know, just... I wasn't too worried, like... God, like... Eh, I got this handled. It's like, zombies aren't really scaring me and all this. But, um, we're, we're generally looking really good. I did, you know, I left it off with, uh, cement mix and everything like that. Well, gathering resources for concrete. There's another bit of cement. We're actually almost done with the current batch of, current batch of cement mix, which is excellent. Another blunderbuss in the house. Oh, 438. And we should, we'll be getting pretty close here on the last bit of blunderbuss, uh, the last blunderbuss for the time being. But, you know, doing good good on power leveling it, it's, it's looking really good. But let's just go look over, I'm going to go do some upgrades on, on, the, on the base, and I will let you know the progress on that once I'm done. Alrighty, YouTube, I've just done, like, the first, well, the first batch of con uh, concrete mix, you know, getting it all upgraded and looking pretty, uh, gotten, we've at least gotten a good ways around the first edge and everything like that, you know, and so, one thing I'm doing for the episode is, you know, I did show that came to the radiated biome and everything, and I just realized that today is a dog day, actually. Probably a likelihood of the dogs right on cue. There is the dog. Dog horde. Wouldn't you, know, wouldn't you believe it? Yep. Dog, uh, dog horde. I think one of them just jumped in the crack book, so. Much as I don't want to deal with dogs, well, let's try and see how 
how we fare against some dogs. One of them just ran by. Your puppy. Oh, you're stuck. Uh -huh. Don't say anything like that because but otherwise the dogs will uh, they'll come bite my face off. It's one of those, one thing I've learned is like, don't taunt the dogs in this game because they will come smack you. Uh oh, we got a we got a screamer. Well, you get the club, so welcome to the club, screamer. Oh no, I think we got another one. We're generating a lot of heat, so I'm not surprised by it. Oh no! Our dog! Oh boy! Ran into the scrapyard, but... Um... We'll take care of him really quick, just to make sure he's absolutely... Absolutely dead. This is why I like the SMG so much. Rapid fire. Come here. Everybody gets a little bit of SMG right now. Don't want to die, you get the... You get the 9 mil. You're free. Okay. There you go, Psycho Steve. I heard another screamer. Gotta be on a little bit of patrol here for the dog. The, the dog horn. There is another screamer. What are you trying to do? Take a withdrawal? Come here. There. I don't mind using a little bit of SMG. It's like, uh, I don't use it too much. It's one of those, it's a... It's a, it's kind of one of those I use as a dog. Uh, I like having it as kind of like, uh, my shotgun in a sense. Um, where's the... Or their zombies. Well, if I really keep it up, it's like soon we might start seeing cops spawn in from, from, from Screamer. Get out of here. Oh, wait, lots of Screamers. Um, I don't want to go through all my 9 mm ammunition, so we'll just start hmm, using clubs more. Okay. Everybody gets a little bit of a 9 mil. Come here. Come on. Penny, I know you want some. There you go. Okay. Should really come to expect this with the territory of forges, so... There you go, Charlie. Anybody else want some? Ow! Charlie! Charlie's brother I met. Okay, come here. Since you wanna since you wanna play an audio with me. What about Alvera Seed? Is there anybody else? Is there any other dogs? Good thing I remember that there was a dog horde coming in. You should know like one thing you should know is like the game will send a horde of dogs after you on your Two days every before every horde, they will uh, make sure you. The game likes to make sure you're kind of staying in check. Huh. Very big threat in the early days, unless you got something like a SMG or a shotgun or you know something that could deal with them. Oh, thank you, girly. Appreciate, it, buddy. Okay. As I was saying, though, let's uh, graph the. I want to start making blunderbuss ammunition. I need to grab some clay for the forge, but I'm thinking today it's high time that we take on the uh, uh, take on the bank. You know, been putting it off long enough, so you know, figured it'd be a good little raid. Just takes a bit to break in there, so let me collect some clay, load that into the forge, and start breaking into the into the uh, the bank and I'll let you know once I've gotten into the safes and everything. Alrighty YouTube, I've just broken into every safe in here and we're going to start with the vault. Let's see what we have. Pistol grip and some paper. 
A pistol receiver and shotgun short stock. Don't really care for it. The shotgun short stock, I'm saying. Is that hunting rifle parts and shotgun parts? Um, that's good to see. We've got a shotgun slug schematic, which I already knew. Which is it, but I'll still take it. Not gonna, uh, not gonna complain. Pistol book and first aid schematic. Good to see. I would have gotten in here shorter, uh, more quickly, but I had to actually grab a new iron pickaxe. It was one of those I had to just. I would have, and then I had to deal with a scream horde, and I think I also dealt with the rest of the dog horde. Hey, little Larry Chester armor. Mm, not a bad shotgun. Not a bad shotgun. Short barrel. Um, more paper in that. Better magnum cylinder. I'm just leaving it in there because I'm right next to, you know, the crack book. <laughs> and uh, we'll just scrap that shotgun stock. We'll just. Oh, I actually, I actually forgot about this one. Man, I can't. Rookie hour by me. I thought I broke into everything, but yeah, we'll do it. We'll do this uh, without cutting. It doesn't take too long. I've already broken into what another like 14 other safes in this place. It's we'll be fine. It's just that it gets a little tedious doing this. It's like it's a good loot, but it takes a while. Let's see what you got. Scrap that shotgun short barrel. We'll leave that hunting rifle stock. Iron boots. We got another point in our so I think because of it. Leather working point. Or you know basically all the the leather working stuff. We'll just scrap that pistol grip. Shotgun long barrel. It's low level. I don't really wanna bother. Auger schematic. Good to see. Um we'll save that. And then, last safe, I believe. Another letter test armor schematic, and a little bit more paper. We're doing good. Uh, oh, right. I haven't cleaned out some of these. That's a good little loop. Just tedious. And I was saying, you know, like to Twitch chat, you know, should really uh, clear out the scrapyard if I'm going to use the... Use this... Uh, Horde base again. It's a good base. It's just that the zombies kind of thwarted my plans. But I decided to beat on the uh, the cracker book and the and the scrapyard. So probably have to take care of that on the night time. But let me just grab my. Well, let me just get the the pistol. Well, no, just throw some parts into the gun parts box, and I will. I'm gonna let you know once that's done, and we're gonna do a bit more looting. Alrighty, everybody on YouTube, come up to Shamway here. I figured, you know, we haven't. I came over here for mechanical parts to have a look see, you know, like because I was wanted to do, uh, you know, get mechanical parts going. I figured let's actually raid the Shamway proper, and probably even raid a. Uh, you know, the, the bunker next door. One of the zombies dropped me a little 149 pistol, so that's really cool to see. And there's a meat stew. Uh, we'll save that for later. That's like, uh, but once I get hungry, I'll eat it. Filled up and everything. Mega Crush, that's fairly rare. We got a, uh, level 494 shopping basket, which is pretty nice. Got Bob one to say hello to me. How are we doing, big guy? Bam! Come on. You know you want to come up here. Thank you. Okay. Shamway box time. Uh, we'll take the bathroom first. Pull the nitrate and try and pipes and lead. More lead. Oh my, a toilet pistol. Like, toilet pistol 3 or 4, I found. Sounds like someone's been beaten on back here. It looks like it might be Mikey. Mikey. Why didn't you give me a call, buddy? Come on. 
That was a zombie apocalypse or anything, but I would have came and broke out before he got zombified. Ooh. Poor Mikey. Poor guy. Okay. Might as well read the back rooms while we're here. Uh, cham sandwiches. Don't really care for those. We'll keep the scrap plastics. And break open more of these. Some raw meat. Some sham. And then nothing really in there. We'll just have a look at these. And another meat stew. Wonderful. I'll take it. Gladly. And then... Blueberry, which I can turn into a seed. These shamways can be decent for, uh... Giving you cans of sham. Which, uh... It can be really helpful. And... Extra egg. No, I don't want it. I got someone who wants to have a word with me out back. Must be upset that I'm raiding his favorite joint. Oh, it's Mikey's brother. Don't worry. Come on, you... I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't... I didn't mean to take out your brother. You know, he was trying to attack me, but you understand. Coveralls... I don't know what the deal is with the sham sandwiches on this version, but... I digress. Let's check out the front of the store. And... Let's just see another another meat stew, so gonna be eating good for a while. Beer and let's just see. Not much in there. More beer and, and some glass jars. Wonderful. Wow, four meat stews out of this place alone. It's like I know they have a chance of giving you stuff like uh meat stew, but that that is pretty good. Um, take the vitamins. But, um, I think that is about it for Shamway. Yeah, I think that's about it, so... Um... Wish I could have one of the meat stews at the moment. It'd be very good for a wellness boost. Actually break into the... To the bunker here, we'll at least see the loot. Just give me a second here, YouTube, and I'll be back with you shortly. Alright, YouTube, gun save time, and a good shotgun, a couple shotgun long barrels. We'll just scrap that in, and then we'll just throw that in. Painkillers, we'll just do that. We'll grab those. Nothing in those wood chests, usually. Charlie. Nada. And a couple. There's usually just clothes in these, but pretty decent. It's like combined like puff puffer coats and all that. Just grab that lead trophy. And we'll grab the hat. That's the use here for for safes and everything like that. Okay, uh, we got a puffer coat, that's really nice. Just drop the murky water. I can I can get plenty of murky water, so um drink the water you know there and the just check these last couple ones shades all that there we go at least getting plenty of cloth out of this and then bookshelves hunting rifle schematic are you new but hey a couple of gunsmithing levels helps out greatly to level 28 nothing on that one. Break in to see the, the Charlie boy. See how he's doing. And. Just a couple 762s. We can come back for this stuff. We'll just prepare that puffer coat before I forget anything. What do we got for the cooler in here? We'll just uh, drink that water too. Why not? Helps condense the uh, inventory a little bit. And for you out, and... Well, at least we're getting more, um... Iron, it'll do. But... We only got a couple more cupboards to go. Um... 
I, I got the meat, the meat suits. I'm fine on food. I got grilled meat, but let's just pop these couple things open. Charlie, do you have anything? Ammunition? Well, you got some night mill for me. Thank you very much, good sir. Appreciate you. And there's one little bit, and yeah, we're not much to end out the uh, end out the day here, but it's coming up on nighttime on YouTube, so gonna leave this episode here. I thank you all so much for watching if you made it this far, and please check out the Twitch channel if you want to watch live. It would mean a lot to me. And I think, you know, I hope you all take care and have a great day.